Hey there, gamers. How you going? Just here with my brother Luke today. How you uh, just going to be trying a new bit of content that I've seen a few people do similar stuff with with packs. But uh, today we've got a couple of boxes of V Star Universe. So uh, we're doing a box battle. So we're going to be getting a point system for each card we pull for hollows or better. And the person with the most points at the end wins and will take the other person's hits for the box. So uh, should be pretty interesting. And um, we decided to go with a box that we know is absolutely chock-a-block full of hits. So there's going to be so many cards in here that give us points. And it's going to be an absolute ripper. If one of us can pull a god pack, I think we're going to pull ahead and take the win. So uh, what do you reckon? You're feeling lucky? Yeah, I'll give it a shot. All right, well, let's give it a whirl then, okay? So uh, we'll go pack for pack on this. And we'll just lay them all out in front so everyone can see what we pull and we'll see how the points go. So uh, this is gambling at its finest, I suppose. <laughs> Take a real punt at potentially losing all of your hits from a box. I'm feeling pretty lucky. I had a pretty good night last night pulling some good cards, so hopefully that luck carries over for today. Uh, before we get started, I'll, uh, I'll explain the point system of how it's gonna work, and then we'll get cracking into it. I've got mine in a little display there. We'll just leave that sitting here in front of me. Uh, Zap theme deck. Now. The way it's going to work is uh, if we get a hollow or a reverse hollow, you get a point for that. If you get a V, V Star or V Max card, they're worth two points. If you get an art rare, they're worth three points. Secret rares, four. Secret art rares, five. And then the gold cards, the ultra rares, they're actually worth six. And uh, yeah, we've, we've also elected a chase card each as well. So mine's the secret art rare Charizard. If I get that one, it's actually worth seven points for me. And what have you decided on, Luke? Yeah, mine's going to be the secret art rare uh, Raikou card. So Secret Art Rare might right here. All right, so if he pulls out, he gets seven points for that one. So let's see how we go with this one. Right, I'll get started with the first pack. I'm kind of nervous here. I don't want to lose all my hits. I just better win and take some extras. Oh, well. yeah, let's see what happens. Um, not really too sure. I haven't actually opened any of this set myself, so I'm not too sure on the uh, pack tricks. I'm just going to go straight through and we'll see what we get. So we'll start off here. We've got a Poochiana. Ooh, we've got a Reggie Rock. These are all just your commons and uncommons to start with. We've got a Mareep, and so here's my first points. I've got a Moltres to get one point for the hollow. I have a Gengar to also get another single point for the hollow. I have a V Star Palkia in its origin form, I believe that is. We have a Reverse Hollow. I'm not actually sure what that card is. And then I've just got a regular old card, and unfortunately, that looks like those are my four hits for the box. So I might not end up with uh, too many points from that one. So unfortunately for me, I've got one, two, three, four, five points out of that first box. So I'll, I'll jot that down just so I can keep note of who gets what points. And then I will let you fire away. Look, I might just sleeve that V star. I'm not too fussed about the hollows yet. I might end uh, naming some of the cards. I know more than the 151 cards, uh, original Pokemon. I don't, don't know so much. After that. He's been away from Pokemon for quite some time. I'm pretty sure your last game you played was Crystal Version, correct? Yeah, it was Crystal. <laughs> no, I, know, I know Kanto, I know Johto. It's been a long very time. Very few Hoenn, but beyond that, uh, yeah. <laughs> been, a, these Japanese guys. Don't, can't be Japanese. been a very long time. Right, fire away, Luke. Right, Let's see what we got. got so that is a Magmortar. Ooh, I've got no idea what that is. That's a Bronzor. Oh, that's a Yep, Haunter. He knows that one. Yep. What do you got? I can't even see it. Ah, uh, that's a Bibarel. So that's a hollow, so that's one point. Absol. Got an Absol, that's one point for the hollow. <laughs> oh, he's pulled the art. Oh, that's very nice. The art rare Absol to go right after the Absol. So that's a ripper. That's one too. Oh, you oh. bugger. That's the card. That's, oh, that's such a nice card. Uh, it's not the Charizard I'm chasing, but that is still such a good card. That's a good pack. Uh, Cynthia. Excellent, and one more. Cool, okay, so from yours, you've got two points to start with, and Art Rare gives you three points there, so that's five points. You've already matched me before you hit the Secret Art Rare, which gives you another five points. So you're on 10 points from one pack, and ahead by five. So looks like my hits are already gonna be gone. That was the first one. Yeah, first one, well, that is the beauty of this set. Every pack has so many chances of good hits. Like, look at that, you've got an Art Rare and a Secret Art Rare in his first pack of the box. So, uh, yeah. Not to mention, every box comes with at least one secret rare energy, which we will count the points from that one, but uh, you probably shouldn't. It's an energy card, but we will today. So you're just going to chuck a couple of sleeves on those nice looking ones there. That Absol is an absolute ripper of a card. Yeah, that's definitely a card I really wanted to get. Yeah, that's a good one to pull. It was either going to be this one or the um, 
actually because it's an art rare, I couldn't choose this one. But yeah, is that was going to be my choice if we were doing the chaser card? Yeah, no, I made it so that the uh, chase card had to be a secret, secret art or ultra rare because it's just a bit. Otherwise, you just make it a common and you pull it yeah, all the time. Put three to the front now, seeing as I've seen that it's crap after that four, <laughs> and we'll just lay those out and see how we go. So I should even know what that is. Can't even see it very clearly in the picture. Sorry if you all know what that is and I don't, but uh, no idea. We've got a Sharon. We've got a Pearl. Is it Pearloin? We've got Magnemite in its steel form. Oh, I've got a few of the ones you'd know. I've got a Parasect. Yeah. And then I've got a Caldeo Hollow. Handy little hollow there. A Zoroark Hollow. And boom, we've hit an Art Rare. Thank you for that. The Altaria Art Rare. Very handy. And then I've got the uh, Luminion, I believe it is, Luminion V. So you can actually get that in an alt art in this set as well, but uh, that's just the regular V. So uh, points wise, you get one, two, you get another three there, so that's five, and then a two from the V. So that's seven points in that pack for me. So at the moment, I'm in front by two points, but uh, considering he's going to get minimum four points from that pack there, I can't really see this working too well in my favour unless I start getting some big pulls. He always does this early in the game. He's still uh, I've got to get the big pulls, yeah, or it's pull, like, get a god pack. And no, see I've never pack. pulled a god pack, not one. No, I haven't opened up enough packs for that. No, he knows that one. Yeah. Name it, name it. No, no, it's no, oh, it's it's Parasect. Parasect. Come That's on, I just opened yeah. it. So that one's Reggie Gigas. Yeah. You didn't pull my card, did you? Oh. That's going to get him lots of points there. That's already, you've got a secret art rare and an ultra rare in one box. That is a mid box. Nice, very nice. All right, well, let's have a look at those points there. So you've got one, two, and then you get from the gold card six, that's eight. And then for the V, it's two. So another 10 point pack for you, which puts me now eight points behind after two packs. I'll... The only thing I can take out of this as a positive is that I haven't had many hits for you to take off me. So whatever I've got there is not worth a lot yet because there's not much there. So help yourself. <laughs> but if I can somehow pull off this miracle comeback, I'm going to be taking some freaking good cards off you. Two packs down and I'm trailing by eight points. That is not where I wanted to start this off at. So this one here, pack number three. This is the one. This is the one that's going to bring me back from the brink. It's going to get me my chase card. It's going to get that big seven point buffer that's going to come right back and help me get back in front. All right, three. Now this set's uh, actually, just while we we'll stop for a second, this set's actually no longer in print. So uh, the prices of this set just seem to keep going up now. Uh, at the moment, it's still at a pretty reasonable price. It hasn't really jumped considering the print has been ended for a couple of months, I think they announced it ago. Um, but yeah, these boxes will start to disappear because they're so much fun to open. There's so many hits in there. And uh, yeah, people will definitely be buying them all up and they'll be gone yeah, so the, even the uncommon cards still like, look awesome even if they're not like, worth that much they just look great that's it and not a strong start for my uh hits there just another regular hollow followed up by you guessed it another regular hollow and i mean i keep chipping away at low level points but a v-star is not going to win it for me so that's unfortunate oh, that's Reggie Gigas V-Star. It's nice, but it's not going to get it for me. And here's my secret art rare energy. I've got the grass energy. So I'll get the four points for that, but that's the same. You'll, he'll get the same thing when he opens up his. So let's count the points up on that. One, two, three, four, eight points. Oh, when it comes to Pokemon cards, my luck is non-existent. I have the occasional good pack here and there. Whereas, yeah, Mitchell, he just... When it comes to winning PlayStation 3, it's doing pretty well. Yeah, well... <laughs> yeah, but that was just... Pure dumb luck, <laughs> sheer dumb luck in fact. Yeah, it's a nice Gengar, I got that one. You'll, you'll have two of it now when you win. Hey, that's exactly what I pulled in mine. Oh, you got the same pack. Another one. Yeah, I didn't have that though, but yeah, almost the same pack. Uh, all right, so one, two, three, four, five points. That's your lowest pack yet. You've just matched my first pack. Now you're five. Well, that gave me a three point gain because of my pack. So we're three packs in, Luke's sitting on 25 points, I'm sitting comfortably on 20 points. Uh, still plenty of time to go. Watch this one right here will be the Art Rare God Pack. I'm gonna get those nine cards that go together and make, there's a, there's a God Pack that you get nine cards and they go together to make a single picture if you put them all together. Um, 
they're all art rares, and then there's also a god pack where you can get like multiple secret arts and art rares and whatnot in it, but yeah, they're the two different types, but as I said, I've never pulled one, so probably not going to happen today, you never know. As far as the basic, just regular hollows go, I don't mind that. We've got the Deoxys hollow. We've got the Hisuian Arcanine to go with our Growlithe. You're kidding me, where are my hits? They, this, the rest of this box must be loaded. I'm getting nothing here. Got a reverse hollow Pumpkaboo. Yeah. yeah. And then we've got a Hisuian uh, Zoroark, I believe, V. So, unfortunately for me, that's another five point pack. Really, when he had a five point pack just then, I thought it was half a chance to catch up, but uh, that has completely cooked any chances of that. I'm surprised we haven't seen a single legendary dog yet. Yeah, I mean they're not that common. There's, I mean I think you can get them in you can get them in regular V form, I believe as well. So not even just one of them, like in a regular uncommon. But uh, yeah, if you guys enjoy this sort of content, if you like to see people competing to steal their their brother's cards off them and then cause some sort of fight that mum might have to step in and break up, then. Uh, Hit the like button on the video would really help us to know that this is the sort of content people like and uh, if you could leave a comment to say what sort of set you might like to see battled with next. I know my brother Mitchell's already put his hand up to battle me in a, uh, a box of Ancient Raw so that'll be probably one of the next videos coming up but uh, we'll just have to see how we go there. I think he might have used all his luck up on that one because he actually, you can start opening, he actually opened a box of it yesterday and uh, he pulled probably the best secret art rare trainer in the in the set so hopefully that means he won't do that again when we battle and i can steal some of his cards well win some of his cards i know it's a technicality but it's stealing cards <laughs> growing up we've always been the most competitive with each other so mm. it'd be good this is a decider that's it oh he's got two basic hollows here come on come on reverse hollow yeah reggie steel's pretty cool though yes all right five point pack again i'm still in it i'm still in it so you have basically got either mad luck or bad luck. You've had two tens and two fives. I've had two fives, a seven and an eight, so I still haven't even had the great luck yet. Doesn't mean it's not coming. So yeah, this, uh, these boxes can actually be bought from my website. If you wanted to purchase these, I have a store, uh, obsessiongaming.com.au, and you can find these, these boxes on there and you can purchase these directly from me. Uh, my price is pretty, pretty reasonable compared to the market at the moment. Um, in, especially in Melbourne here. If you want to open up some of these cool cards that we're showing here today, feel free, buy some, jump on, have a look. A lot of fun seeing all the cool cards again, really just nostalgic as well, or well, for me at least. <laughs> yeah, I see cards plenty. Yeah, just, this kid never stopped collecting, so. <laughs> yeah, that's sort of a good thing. It means I've still got some stuff that's worth a bit of money now because it's been holding on to it. All right, let's get through this. So, I don't know what you are. We've got a uh, Dust Buster. <laughs> I don't know what it's actually called, but it's a, but it's a dust buster. <laughs> well, as far as regular hollows, I'm pulling some cool cards. That is a Moltres. And then to follow up with the Moltres, we've got an Articuno, but the uh, Galarian version of the Articuno. Very nice. I'm getting some cool hollows and stuff, but seriously, this is going to be another five point pack. Like, oh my god. Regular old reverse hollow, quick tune. And then just a Electro, Galarian Electro, Hisuian Electro V. Man, I'm lagging behind. This, the rest of this box must be loaded because I am getting nothing. It's a cool card though. Oh. Oh, it's not that everyone's it's worth, it's just not worth many points. Yeah. All right, once he's opened up this pack, we'll be at the halfway point. It's See. Dignity! Give me a shot to the cat, because the cat's going to get it. <laughs> Fish grew up. Piss you in, Arcanine. Show me those regular old cards. Get another five-point pack. Oh, it's a nice V though. Oh. Only a five-point pack, but it's a nice. That's a nice Kiratina. Okay, so we've each had three five-point packs. Unfortunately, you've had two ten, and I've had a seven and an eight. So that's what's holding me back right now. Uh, well, ask anyone who's ever played golf with me while I'm drinking while playing golf. I usually end a lot better than I start, so let's hope that this is the same. Like me when I play pool. The more I drink, the better I get. <laughs> pack number six. This is the one. This is the banger pack. This is the one that's going to save me from the brink. We have a Thievel. Yeah, he's a pre-evolved one. It's called Nicket. <laughs> Another regular holo that's really, really cool. I've got a Lucario. I've got a Torterra. We've got a big playmaker here with a VMAX. Another five point pack here, unfortunately, but a Machamp VMAX. And then a Magneton Reverse. So, 
I've now had four five point packs. I've got four packs left. They had better be absolute fire or I'm in trouble. Star here, boys. And girls. And other dust bus stuff. Ooh. Yeah, yeah, yep. There is. Yeah, the Galarian form, Articuno for the Sword and Shield game. Nice, I just had that one in my pack. Yes, an art rare. So that's the Electivire art rare. There's actually another art rare in the set for Magmortar where they're in it together again. Magmortar's just lighting a little campfire, so that's a pretty cool artwork. And then an Arceus V. Yeah, so you've got one, two, three, four, five, six, seven points on that box. At the moment, I'm sitting on 20, 35 points. And you are currently sitting on 42. So you're seven points ahead from that pack you just had. Seven points with four packs to go. It's going to need some serious, serious hits from me here. I need my chase card. That's probably the best way that I'm going to get back into this one. Takes that one pack though to turn all around. Yeah, well, this is my uh, biggest letdown, I suppose, because I gave him the box and I chose to keep the one I've got. <laughs> so we will see how this plays out now. It's uh, Reggie Drago. Not Ivan Drago. Wow, I mean, I'm not winning this, but these hollows are awesome. I just got the Mew hollow. Like, damn. Oh, it's another five point pack from me here, guys. We've got a Bronzong hollow. We've got whatever the hell this little random dude is. Reverse hollow. He's cursing me, that guy. And then we've got Zamazenta V. Another five point pack from me. I am spiraling the drain right now. It is pretty much donezo for me. I'll just quickly show you. This is my pile of like V or better cards. So there are still plenty of hits in these packs. It's just not enough to be winning this competition for me. <laughs> but I have got three packs left and should have a minimum of two more art rares. So we will see. Or right, fire away with your next pack. Pull away a bit further. Some sort of belt. Do fancy belt looks cool. Yeah, I got that one. So you're gonna have you're gonna have two of that when you win now. Wait, hold on. We got another one of these ones. Oh, all these hollows are doubling up. So you're getting the cool hollows I got, and you got the big hits. Oh, so this is gonna be a pretty decent hit for us. I heard it might sink battleship too. Ah, it's just a V star. It's cool though. It's oh, cool. Wait. This this will fucking destroy you. <laughs> if you can name it, I'll give you double points. <laughs> double points. No, you can shove your double points up your ass. <laughs> Alright, so that's a five point pack for you. That gives me still the glimmer of hope. He's being the true big brother right now, where he's just sort of holding that door open, going, come on, you can do it, you can do it. Just so as soon as I get close, he can go bang and slam it in the face. Like... Classic big brother move. This one. Turn it around for me. Come on, here we go. We've got some sort of magical pickaxe to try and dig my way out of this hole. Hopefully it'll do something. Dig up, stupid. <laughs> Hopefully it's a dragon pickaxe from RuneScape, because that'll do the job. Can you name that bitch? Ghastly. Yeah, he... Yeah, I know Ghastly. Yeah. There's a test. He's my boy. What about that one? Paris. Oh, he's, he's passing the test here, guys. He's getting some of them. You know. actually opened this one before. Do you know what that one is? Uh, it, it's the Evolve form Magma. Uh, it is. It's Magma Water. <laughs> That's the one. <laughs> All right, now uh, the next card I'm going to reveal here. It is just a holo, but... It broke so many kids' hearts playing the second generation games when they got to that they got to that third gym and spent hours training to try and pass it because this little prick would just roll out all over everyone. Mill tank. And I might have something good here because we're going from a hollow straight into a Mewtwo V Star. Oh, that's pretty cool. Now, I actually didn't take into account a certain type of card you can get in here. Uh, I'd say they're probably the equivalent to an art rare. So as long as you're, they're, they're shiny cards, they're called a radiant card. Yeah. You're fine with them being at the same point as an art rare? Cool, because I just got a radiant Greninja. Greninja. So that's a black Greninja, shiny. Cool. Very, very nice card there. I'm pretty sure every pack here comes with a radiant too, so you should also have a radiant in there somewhere. And then this one, this is the end game here for everybody. This is the winning card. The reverse holo Dustbuster. Clean and up. Clean enough. Clean enough. <laughs> One, two, three, four, five, six, seven point box. I think right now the scores are level again with you having a whole pack in hand. So with not many packs to go, it's making it very difficult for me to have any chance to catch up. I've only got two packs. They both have to be bangers now. It doesn't even matter if you strike out the rest of the pack, the rest of the set. Nah, I need literally bangers if I get... If I get a seven, that's not going to catch me back up. I need some tens. You need some duds. 
Maybe an error pack where like you just didn't get any hits. That'd be lovely. Or the ever elusive God pack would also save me. For it. Oh, some shoes. Maybe I, can use, shoes. maybe I can use them to grab your cards and run away. Retro. Wrong. Bolt Bolt Bolt. Bolt. I would have also accepted Pokeball. Uh, Alrighty. Uh, this dude, Deoxys. Deoxys is nice. That's a one-pointer. Oh, oh um, this is the, uh, the Radiant card you're talking about. Oh, Bam. oh you've gone the same. Everything's going to be doubled up. What's the point of even winning? You're just going to be taking the same cards. Oh, damn. Oh, what a shame. Uh, whatever that is. Crystal Ball of some sort. Uh, another one of these boys. Dialga V. Well, I think the only one you're missing out of that triplet now is the, uh, the Palkia V. Because we'll add to that, qu that quartet because you've got the Giratina too. So yeah, you just need the Palkia V to close out that, that little you, set. Did you get the Palkia V? Oh, the V Star. Oh, okay. Yeah. Yeah, unfortunately, I haven't got it for you. But I've still got two more packs and I like to pull low level packs. So you'll probably get it off me. Unless this next pack has some big hitters, it's all over. So this is the make or break pack here. In. Uh, in football terms, for AFL football, probably we would call it the uh, Premiership Quarter. So this is the, the Championship Pack, let's call it. This is the only hope I have left, is this cart pack right here. Let's pray. Or if you're on Luke's side and want to see Luke win, then pray against me, go for it. Let's get this firing away. We have some dude. We have double colourless. We have a group of pals. <laughs> Or from the Diamond and Pearl games. I know Barry, Baza. good old Bazza and Dawn, oh, and Cynthia. We've got another Hollow that is pretty cool. We've got a Latios. Not a good sign that it's just another Hollow behind it, but a Ditto. And then, is this what saves me? Is this what gives me half a chance? I don't even know what the hell it is. But it's that little cursed Pokemon, but in its art rare form. Ah. I don't even know what he is. He keeps cursing me, but that's helping me. And then to finish off, this is a big hitter. It might be a V-Star, but it's a secret art rare V-Star. Okay. Lucario. That's pretty rad. That's a mad card. Lucario, secret art rare. I'll put that in front of the camera to give you a real good look at that. So this card's actually a promo in English sets. Uh, I can't remember what set it's from. Um, I think it's just from Crown Zenith. If you buy an ETB, you can actually get this card. But uh, in this set, it's actually quite a bit rarer. Yeah, so a secret art rare. Banks me five points, eight points, nine points, 10 points. 10 point pack was the only hope I had of coming back into this and I've now got it. So that gives me a sniff. If you get a five point pack here, it's game on. I'm back to two points difference with two packs each to go. Do you remember I saved my god pack for the last No, with one pack each to go, I should say. Yeah. Two points difference. Well, I've got two to go. Yeah, no, no, after you get this. If you just get a five-pointer, then it'll be two <coughs> points difference in your favour with one pack each. But, having said that, I'm pretty sure you get three art rares, and I think that was only my second, so I should still have something in the last. It's that ultra rare, that bloody gold card that's made the difference here today. Unless I can get the chase, the chase card. Well, that's like my fourth gold card I've ever picked. Is that of anything? I don't pull gold cards very often. I pulled that. Lucky I actually gold. pulled that Dialga from Crown Zenith, uh, the English version of this set, Crown Zenith. I pulled that one uh, just out of a random booster pack from a Pikachu V Max box. So that was a pretty cool pull, but that doesn't get me anything today. Unsparse, but the world's most useless Pokemon, other than Magikarp. But at least Magikarp evolves. No, that's a Zapdos. Oh, it's a, that's oh, the Galarian it version of a Zapdos. <laughs> So I think you've got, uh, yeah, you just need the Moltres Galarian version to have all three birds in that. But if you beat me, you get it anyway. So another art rare. Yep. Very nice. And another V star. So you now got the V and the V star. That which is handy. So that's just a one, two, three, four, five, six, seven point pack. Um, now that'll be your last art rare for sure. Then I reckon. Yeah. But you will also still have your secret rare energy you haven't pulled yet, which is going to give you four points. So, with you getting what you get there, seven Although points, did I say? Does put a little down because I, I was planning on drawing, pulling out a, a god pack last, and if I got a hang on, how many packs have you got? One, one left. If I got a, an, an energy coming, I can't have a god pack. So. Do you know what you got on your last pack? I can't quite remember. Do you have your pulls there from the last pack? I didn't write it down. Sorry. Nine and ten. So those were your two hits. So you had two hollows. And then you have one, two, and then a three. 
So you've had only only three, no, four five-point packs. I've had five five-point packs. So I'm just praying that your last matches you with a five-point pack. But it won't, because you should have your energy in there, so. Uh, at the very least, let me get a map. Yeah, I mean, unless the energy can be subbed out for one of your other hits, potentially you get a different hit instead of an energy. I actually don't know. But this is the last chance I can piss this off now. <clears throat> god back, god back, god back, god back. The Hail Mary. Either that or if I at least hit my chase card, that gives me half a chance. Because then I can get the extra points. One, two, three. Not a god pack. Not a good start. Regular hollow. Followed up by a regular hollow. Ladies and gentlemen, Art Rare, Absol. So you're gonna have a double up of that now because I do not beat you. I got a Suicune V. Well, at least we finally got one though. We finally got a legendary dog. But unfortunately, that ends the competition, I reckon, because you can't possibly get less than a five. And uh, that there for me is only a seven point pack. But you got that sweet Absol, that's, that's cool. Yeah, but uh, nah. Because I think right now I'm four points behind, and you can't get less than a five, and you're going to get a four from that one energy if you get it, so which you should get. So I'll tell you it up now, but uh, it's looking like it's over for me. See what I get here. What don't you mean your cards? Yeah, my cards. <laughs> just take care of my cards, put them away for me, and I'll just sit yeah, down. Initially. Yeah, well, unless you've got an error pack that all of a sudden just had nothing in it, then it's pretty well game over. Just blank bits of card cardboard. Yeah, well. I might have been known to do some weird stuff, so you never know. Nick it. Nick it. That's Nick it. Describing exactly what you're about to do with my cards. Yeah, you're about to explain this one. I think I know what it is. It looks fucking sick. So there you go. That's actually the Galarian Moltres. So that means you've now got the full set of the Galarian Birds. I didn't pull a Zapdos, but it doesn't matter because I don't get to keep the cards anyway. Oh, why am I not remembering what it's called? It doesn't matter. Keep going. That's a nice V-Max. Here it is, the last nice card. Yeah. So, you finished off with an eight point pack. Now the final tallies, I'll just quickly do that now if you want to just sleeve your cards and whatnot. So, so I'm happy with the win. Little unhappy I didn't get my uh, Morakia, but. Yeah, I didn't get my Charizard either, but I also didn't get the win. So it means that the fact that I didn't get my Charizard means you don't take it off me. Uh, final total, 64 points for me and this number just perfectly works for you, of course. So, uh, 69. Yeah. You cheeky bastard. Yeah. Pack up your cards. Put what them away. Put them away. Let's go. Now, just to show everyone what I'm losing. What a harsh way to go. <sighs> See, and this is what I mean. I've lost this competition, yet look how many hits were in that one booster box. That is a lot of hits for that. I'm just going to count them up. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14 from a losing box. 14 hits that are good quality hits higher than a hollow out of 10 packs. So you probably should have kept yours out to the side, would have been smart. But uh, yeah. yeah. We'll quickly check out what his, his are, and then I'll pass over the winners to the victor. Otherwise, I'll quickly just go tell mum that he's stealing my stuff, and then she'll come in and stop him. I'm a lot bigger than her now, she can't do anything to me. <laughs> oh, she'll bend you over her knee and she'll smack your bum. She's got to catch me first. <laughs> yeah, that's her issue these days. But yeah, just uh, again, if you've enjoyed watching this video and watching this uh, brotherly battle here, uh, feel free to like the video, please leave a comment with any other sets that you might like to see battled out again with, with each other against. I can do English or Japanese, whichever way. And uh, yeah, if you're enjoying the channel, please hit the subscribe button. The more subscribers and the uh, more likes and comments that I get, the more I can develop this channel to be able to bring even better content and get a better space to film in and make it a lot cleaner and clearer. And uh, yeah, it costs nothing to subscribe. You don't have to even watch the videos afterwards if you really don't want to, but I prefer you did because it would mean you're actually enjoying it. So this is the winning one. We had one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 
15, 16. So two more hits than I had, and it made up a whopping five points difference in the end. So if I had just pulled one of those uh, gold cards myself, then it would have been game on, and I probably would have won if I had. So on the whole, I probably had better pulls as far as the regular pulls, but uh, yeah, you had those two real big ones with the gold and the, the Charizard, Charizards that made the difference. So here you go, to the winner go the spoils. Enjoy, and we will yeah. catch you on the next one. Thank you, guys. Yeah, guys.